Well, it is a bit of a dreary morning this morning, but I don't expect that will affect the mullet fishing. I'm on holiday in France with the family, and um, we're fishing basically on a pretty much freshwater section of river. There's an estuary not not too far down there, but the mullet seem not to mind coming up into the fresh water up here, which is brilliant. Um, and there's some really lovely fish in here, plenty of them, and they seem to quite like the bread. So um, today I'm going to try and show you a couple of fish, how to catch them, and uh, yeah, it should be enjoyable. setup I'm using. I'm using a lightweight, uh, I think it's a nine foot sort of spinning type rod. And then I'm using a 2000 size Shimano Enos reel. And that's spooled up with eight pound line. So it's not too heavy, not too light. And that goes down. The rig is super simple. I've basically got a loaf of float on a float rubber. So that's nice and sliding on the line. Easy to change the depth. And then I've got an SSG shot there just to weigh the float down, float down. And that's, I don't know, four foot of that um, same eight pound mono going down to a size 10 single hook. Right, absolutely beautiful grey mullet here. Probably about two pounds. Caught from freshwater bit of river, which is nice, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely bit of river. And uh, you get salmon coming up here as well. Um, but yeah, just on a bit of floating bread. And um, hopefully there's more to come as well. Let's slip him back. So as I mentioned I'm using a float rig but I need to make it clear that the float rig, the float is not there for seeing the bites, the float is simply there for a bit of casting weight and control of where that bread is going in the flow of the river. Um, so what you need to make sure that you have is a pair of Polaroids because it's vital that you can see the mullet take. These mullet especially are really finicky feeders. And they don't just come along and swallow that bread and take your float straight down. They come and they sort of nudge it, they suck at it. So you've got to be able to see them and see when that bread actually goes inside their mouth so then you strike. So basically we got these great big French sticks. These are a few days old because we got them from the bakery for free. Because they didn't want them anymore. Stale. Dunk this in, give it a good squeeze, fill it up with water, you want that to be really well soaked. So I'm just going to grab a nice lump of this soaked bread and break it up, squeeze it like that, break it up in my fingers into small pieces and I'll just lob it out there into the flow. This and stuff is what you want for your hook bait, the softest, whitest bread you can find. So what I'm going to do, you just want to take a section out of the middle, about that sort of size, 50p piece, that sort of size, and I'm going to put my hook right in the middle of it, the back of the hook right in it, and I'm going to fold it over, and I'm only going to squeeze, this is, this is if you want floating bit, 
you're just going to squeeze right by the base of the, where the base of the hook is super hard so that's firmly on now and that will float on the surface of the water let's try it out fishing early morning before everyone else wakes up so yeah that's the end of the session if you enjoyed this little bit of footage and I'll slip this lovely needy back 